Alina Rabakina versus Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova is the first semi-final for the ladies Qatar Open for 2024. And both have been super impressive to get to this stage. Pavlyuchenkova started the tournament unseeded and will take on the number 11 seed Kazakina in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 7-6. In the second round, she take on Kostyuk. And after three games, Kostyuk was forced to retire, handing Pavlyuchenkova the win. 2-1 retirement. In the third round, she take on the sixth seed Vondrusova, who hadn't been playing well lately. And Pavlyuchenkova took advantage of this, winning in straights. 7-5. 5-6-3. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Danielle Collins, another unseeded player who had taken out Kudamatova along the way. But again, Pavlyuchenkova too strong, getting through in straights, 7-5-6-4 to make it to the semifinal. We're back in the start of the tournament as the number three seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Zhu, but there was no problem getting through in straights, 6-2-6-1. In the third round, she'd take on Navarro, the 16th seed, and after dropping the second set, Rabakina would have to fight back to win, 6-1-6-7-6-4. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Leila Fernandez, who had taken out Samsonova and Zhang along the way. And after a tough first set, Rabakina would win in straights, 6-4, 6-2, to advance to the semifinals. These two have only played the one time before. That was at the French Open in 2021 in the quarterfinal stage with Pavlia Chenkova winning 9-7 in the third. And of course, that was the same tournament where she made the final of that French Open. So a lot has changed since then. Three years ago, Rabakina is a much different player now, but still, Pavlia Chenkova has got to feel good about herself for that one. If Pavlia Chenkova is going to win this one, she needs to move Rabakina around. And also use that confidence to the fact that she hasn't lost a set all week and also that she's beaten Rabakina in the past. Move her around and try and get Rabakina off balance. Rabakina's going to win this one. She's a serve big and use that forehand as well to power. Try and move Pavlyuchenkova around as well because Pavlyuchenkova is still coming back from a long time off from last year. So maybe get a little bit tired having played so many matches in a row, Pavlyuchenkova, but Rabakina's in red hot form. Got to use that serve. What a great matchup. Both players deserve to be here. Pavlyuchenkova has beaten some big names along the way, but I've got to go with Rabakina in a close straight set. So I think Rabakina's going to get this one, maybe a tie break first set, and then gets the second 6-4 or something like that. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final of Doha.